that does it for this edition of Andrea Mitchell Reports. Remember, follow the show online on Facebook and on Twitter at Mitchell Reports. And with that, a very big welcome to my friend and colleague, veteran anchor and correspondent Chris Jansing for today's premiere of Chris Jansing Reports. And with all your experience reporting overseas and here at home, I can't think of a, a more important time for you to be taking over. That's kind of you, Andrea. Thank you so much. And it's great to have you in studio. It's good to see you. Good Appreciate see you. that. Good afternoon. I am Chris Jansing. And today we have new information about what happened during the second deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. School district had doubled its security budget in recent years. The school was supposed to be locked and it did have a resource officer on scene. Then there are the questions, perhaps the biggest. What do we do about it? Right now, Congress has yet again a choice following a mass shooting, a choice that will tell you whether they believe guns are the problem or a solution. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is holding off on forcing a vote on background check bills that the House has already passed, but that are guaranteed to fail in the Senate because he's giving Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy 10 days to authorities. The gunman was confronted by an armed school resource officer, but kept going and made his way into the school. He locked himself into a single classroom, and that's where the entire attack, the murder of 21 innocents, would unfold. Border Patrol eventually got that door open, but not without help from a member of the school staff. How long the shooter was on and mass shootings overall, where AR-15, it was the gun of choice from Uvalde and Buffalo, Boulder, Parkland, Orlando, Las Vegas, Aurora, Sandy Hook. I could go on and on. San Bernardino, I was there as well. That's right. Talk about the difference between one of these AR-15s and what the average cop or the average school security officer carries. Right. So very typically, you're not going to have a school safety officer walking around with an AR-15. I mean, that.